Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be a bit different. We are currently isolating. Um, the a bit of I know most of you are US, so I'll give you a bit of a brief on the UK. But we've got this ultra contagious version of coronavirus. Um, the government has instituted a in, instigated a full national lockdown. So everything's shut apart from supermarkets and pharmacies. All retail, pubs, restaurants, all of it is gone. Um, you have to stay in your home. You can go outside for one hour a day um, and work from home if you can. Um, so they've shut all schools as well. So children go, don't go to school. They're doing homeschooling. But what the government didn't do is shut nurseries. They kept nurseries open, even though they said for school children, it's not safe for them to go to school. Um, so for those that don't know, me and Shane work full time behind the scenes. And Mia goes to nursery on a Tuesday and a Thursday. Uh, for a full day. She's in a baby group with four other babies and two supervisors. Um, and then one week after the government did that, where they kept nurseries open, she was exposed to COVID and told to isolate. Um, after that, you know, we took the decision that bear in mind the government has still kept nurseries open. We are still paying for her nursery placement. Um, but we have taken a decision and spoken to our companies about us not physically being comfortable being put in that position to push our children to go to nursery just because the government says that they should remain open. And we've said that we want to keep her at home. Um, and thankfully our companies have been quite good about it. Um, so yes, Mia is not going back to nursery until this strain is under control again. And then for me, if it's not safe for school children to be in school, it's definitely not safe for babies to be in nursery. A teacher does not get as close to a child and other children can social distance to a limit. I understand like four or five year olds might not understand the concept, but a baby that's hand fed, that's nappy changed, that's always in close contact, there is there is no way to safely keep a nursery open. I get it, it's harder for a parent with a baby to work from home, but for me, it's just, it's not safe for her to be in nursery. She's not going back. And this video, getting back to the point, is about isolation. So we are currently isolating, no symptoms, Everything's fine. I know babies in general don't get the symptoms or children don't suffer as wide symptoms. She's absolutely fine, um, but we're isolating. So this video is gonna be like 10 days of isolation. Um, oh, and also another fun fact that is just crazy. She has to isolate because she was exposed. We're her carers, we live in the same household. We don't have to isolate. If I wanna go to the shops, apparently I can go to the shops. I won't because I don't think that's right. We could be exposed, we could be transmitting, we could be asymptomatic. But based on government advice, me and Shane don't have to isolate, just Mia, which is just crazy. If you've been exposed to this ultra contagious version and you live in the same household and you're not able to socially distance from that person, it's just ludicrous. So anyway, today's video is going to be loads of clips for the next 10 days of us in isolation with Amelia and some of the pets too, but a bit different one for us. Um, and yeah, I don't want to get too political and everything, but Mia will be out of nursery for the foreseeable future until schools reopen. Um, and that's just our decision. And I know it's different in every country. And I know some people think it's all a hoax and stuff, but I'm scared of it. I don't want it. I don't want my baby to have it. I don't want my husband to have it. I don't want my support bubble to have it. I don't want to not be able to go out and meet my friend for a walk. We're still allowed to do that. We're allowed one hour exercise with one other person. So <laughs> thankfully I can still go and see Major. Um, but not until this 10 day isolation is over. So yeah, hope you enjoy the video. <laughs> Bite your chubby cheeks. Go on, Amelia. Yay. Can you push one more? You're just going to keep doing the yellow one. Yeah, Another one! Say hello. You're always on film. Let Mia have a turn. Push! What are you looking at, Mia? Is that... Dada. Who is it, Mia? It's Dada. What about Mama? Where's Mama? Where is Mama? 
Mama, yeah. And Dada? Show me Dada. Show me Dada. And Mama, okay, with balls. Is Teddy in there with you now? Are you ready? Little smarty pants. Little smarty pants, aren't you? Oh, to get the pen. Throwing. 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 Yay. Throwing. Yay. Throwing. Measure his neck. Go on. Measure him. How big? How long is cat? How long is lot? Are you measuring yourself now? Move to Milo. Good girl. Can I see your outfit? Since we can't leave the house, you can wear a tracksuit. You're gonna do some sit-ups later in that. <laughs> She's helping Shane, who's cleaning the garden up by dropping stones on the nice clean astro turf. That's about to. Teddy! Thank you. Thanks for that. Teddy's gonna get here. All the stone. Thank you. Good boy. Good boy. Pop it back so that you can go get it too. Come on, Mia Paul. Get it. Ready? Arr. Come on. Strength. Do you want me to help you? Ready? Pull, pull, pull. Daddy's coming. Use your, use your angry. Come on. Uh, yeah. Come on. Uh, Amelia. Uh, uh, <laughs> not gonna fall. Come on. Okay, put it back. I'm gonna fix it.
Now you're just gonna break it even more, aren't you? How do you feel about isolation, Mia? Halfway through. We're halfway through isolation. Bye, Mia Moo. <laughs> Are you going to hide? Where's Amelia? Where's Peekaboo? Where's Amelia? Peekaboo! You're a cutie. See all my clothes coming down. <laughs> Good brush your hair. Brush your hair. Good girl, brush it. Brush it. Baby shark. Do baby shark. Good girl. Tucked yourself away there, haven't you? Can you say baba? Baba. Yeah, that's how you say baby shark, isn't it? Baba. Amelia's today started doing this thing where she's like scared of any loud noise. Here you go, look. Oh. She has to get on your lap. Okay, so guys, we have motion sensors all over our property. Security cameras and stuff. Amelia, will you go get my book? Go get a book. Go on. And they go off when the postman and stuff come down the driveway or the dogs are in the front or Shane's doing some work etc so it's a noise that goes off five six times a day in our house ever since she was born and this is now what happens oh, oh. Oh, it's okay it's okay it's okay Amelia really. yeah, okay. has to come for a cuddle quick she gets so come freaked okay. out look Rah. So, for example, that noise has never bothered her up until this day. If she's a year and a month old, that noise goes off six times a day throughout her life. And now, all of a sudden, it scares her. Are you feeding yourself? With a little observer, crying for food. That's how we do it, Mia. Nicely done. Baby lasagna. Mm. Look what she does now. Amelia, can you say Ella? <laughs> Ella! <laughs> Ella! Can Amelia say Ella? That's a way of saying Ella. She just sticks her tongue out. <laughs> Ella! La 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 la. <laughs> Are you party pooped? Is it nap time? Is it maybe nap time? Time for bed. Oh, oh no, your hair! It's come out of the bunch. Oh dear. Oh dear. It just needs to get a little bit longer, Baba. <laughs> so nap time's going well. Oh. 
Her eyes look spooky. Good night, Amelia. <laughs> Meanwhile, Teddy's just eaten all of her toys. No. Cheeky boy. Nico's doing a bad job at supervising. No, damn it. Are you doggies? Did you miss them? Say hello, doggies. Hey, wow! Say hello to your doggies! <gasps> Hi, Nico! Hi, Teddy! Oh, Mummy, open the gate! Okay, oh, thank you for my kisses. Go on then, Mia. Up! Remember, up! There's a little step. That's it, good girl, wait. Good girl, Amelia. Come then, Amelia. Watch your step, step. Up, up, up. Excellent job, Amelia. That is so good. You're amazing. Where's Dada? Where's Dada? That's Mama. The word that you've forgotten how to say. There's Dada. There's Dada. You've got Dada. Good girl. Amelia, we give Milo a kiss. I'm just gonna look for your photo book. Milo wants a kiss. Give him a hug. Over. Please come to see you. Oh, Milo. Milo. Oh, it's Milo. Oh, you're just going to sit on him. Okay, bring me that and we'll go through the photos.